Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We have seen a lot of commentary submissions for uh, crystals over the course of the past month and now that we are officially in the first week of April, we have a March recap by uh, Spartan, uh, sent over by Noble34. And this is starting with a uh, crazy amount of side quest calves. And how do you start off better than this? Seriously? You know how many people were saying, Prof, I just really want a six star Nimrod this month. Of course, they didn't get a five star. That's your first crystal. How? How? How does that happen? How do you, how? How do you start out better than that? I, I don't, I don't know. The rest of these could be total trash and it doesn't matter. No, no. That's impossible. This should be impossible. I'm not trying to be overly dramatic. I opened one six star in six months from these. The first two crystals of this opening are back to back six stars and they're really good six stars. Although Darkhawk needs to be awakened at high sig. Nimrod and Darkhawk, the rest of these could and probably should be three stars. If he gets three six stars in a row. Still a five star. New crossbones. What is in the water with this guy? Seriously. Three star falcon. About time. Three star long shot. Still. Two six stars and a five star in five crystals. Impossible. Impossible. Pop of the next five, there's a five star, but not two six stars back to back. Well, if you're wondering who got all the luck in these, you know exactly who to uh, point the finger at. Wow. And another four star. I don't think he should get certainly another six star again. I can't believe this. There is what all of us are used to getting. Three stars and four stars. These are basically glorified grand master crystals for the majority of the community. But not this guy. I was not prepared for that. And I've seen a lot of submissions. There is another six star. Your third six star of these. There's your first six star. You got a six star Nimrod before a three star. Now that sums it up. I mean, that really sums it up. Holy cow. Four star Doc Ock. Cool. Last four. Three star. Haha, <laughs> there's the Lord and Savior of my channel, five star Red Skull. We say that because we landed on him. Five out of seven featured five star crystals this past month. Another new three star. And last crystal. There's your now awakened three star Nimrod. I cannot believe this opening. There's a five star Hella. That's new. What are you ending with, boss? How are you ending this? Oh, five star. It feels pretty um, anticlimactic after this, but two archangels roll over to Odin. Not bad. Wow. He only had one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six six stars before this opening. He got half of his total amount of six stars in one opening. And by the way, your six star collection is amazing. Captain Marvel movie, Nick Fury, Domino, Emma Frost, Angela, and Apocalypse. You got to take up that Apocalypse ASAP. What, you, what is he down, doing all the way down at 6,300? Come on. I don't know what to say. That luck should be impossible. This luck should be impossible. That's got to be the title of this video because when you start off with the 3% six star drop rates of the side quest Cavalier crystals, which so many people like myself have opened nothing but three and four stars, then you might say, wow, Prof, you're really jealous. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm happy for this summer though. And look, I've had crazy luck throughout my account. I'm not saying that I shouldn't be thankful. It's just, I've only gotten 
I've only opened two six stars back to back once in my life, and it was regular calf crystals when they first came out. When I swear those drop rates were juiced up. This time, it's just unbelievable. Congratulations, my friend. What a story. What a video. What a cool ending to a cool month.